Generation is a constant with the synthetic aperture payload, able to acquire images in any part of the Earth's surface with an unprecedented resolution and image quality. The Cosmos Climate satellites, like the optical systems, are able to operate during the night and in presence of clouds. This is thanks to the specific frequency used for the acquisition. The antenna is uh, totally new and is able to acquire simultaneously images at a very big distance between them. And the data acquired contain a lot of new information with respect to the past generation. For the better use of the satellites and the exploitation of data, we have developed a new control center and processing center in Italy. This will enable the development of new science and new services application for the benefit of citizens, institutions and entrepreneurs. Cosmos SkyMed constellation is not only a very uh, important technical instrument in the field of Earth observation, but is also an important uh, support to the strategy of Italy to international collaboration. Thanks to Cosmos SkyMed over the years, and even more will be in the future with the enlargement of the constellation, we can establish uh, collaboration with other countries to share the use of data provided by the constellation and to enlarge the coverage of the planet with other instruments offered by, by partners. I'm talking about so far, for example, Argentina, we plan in the future to do collaboration with Israel and so on. Also very important is the fact that we use Cosmos SkyMed as third party contributor to the Copernicus uh, program of the European Space Agency and European Union. In this way, we offer important strategic and uh, precious data to collect with our constellation, also to other partners, to other producers of data for the benefit of Europe and, uh, and the rest of the world. You may have noticed that the clock has stopped. Uh, that is because we have had a hold on the countdown due to poor weather conditions. Leading up to launch, there was a strong cold front approaching Florida and some click uh, thick layered cloudiness in the area. Now, when we started the webcast, we were red on the range in violation of the thick cloud rule. We were hopeful that weather conditions were going to improve for liftoff, but unfortunately, we are standing down from today's attempt. The vehicle and the payload remain in good health, and our next launch opportunity is tomorrow at 6 11 p.m. Eastern Time. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.